It's good you join us for the midweek reflection in this second week of Lent. As we turn on lamps at dusk, we greet the evening by welcoming God to abide with us anew. Dear friends, a rock is solid and strong. A house built on the foundation of a rock guarantees strength. If we build on the rock that is God, our life will be secure and safe, full and broad. This reminds me of the hymn Rock of Ages. From this rock flows a source of water and blood in which we are cleansed. I like to read the third verse of that hymn. Nothing in my hand I bring, simply to thy cross I cling. Naked come to thee for dress, helpless look to thee for grace. Foul I to the fountain fly, wash me, Saviour, or I die. So let us now welcome our God, the Rock of Ages, tonight in our prayers and also in our lives. And we pray, wherever we stray, lead us back to the Rock of your love. So during this midweek reflection, I'd like to ask God to cleanse us through our prayer, through our life, through all the deeds and all the words that we speak and do. It is appropriate to read this song of Christ the Servant in the season of Lent. Christ suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his steps. He committed no sin, no guile was found on his lips. When he was reviled, he did not revile in turn. When he suffered, he did, he did not threaten. But he trusted himself to God, who judges justly. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds, you have been healed, for you were straying like sheep, but have now returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. Isaiah in chapter 51 uses the image of a rock, and that's what he wrote. Listen to me, you that pursue righteousness, you that seek the Lord. Look to the rock from which you were hewn and to the quarry from which you were dug. For the Lord will comfort Zion. He will comfort all her waste places and will make her wilderness like Eden, her desert, like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness will be found in her, thanksgiving and the voice of song. Beautiful passage about transformation and also how we can be transformed transformed during this season of Lent. Time for a bit of uh, meditation, reflection and your personal prayer. Please, as always, do, this, do use this pause button which allows you to interrupt this recording and take a bit of time for yourself and for your prayer. I'd like to start this meditation with a quote from St. Augustine. Lord, this only do I ask of your extreme kindness, that you convert me wholly to you, and you allow nothing to prevent me from wending my way to you. So the question for your reflection is, what will you set aside that blocks your way to God? What will you set aside now that blocks your way to God? Let us make our confession. Lord Jesus, you come into our lives when we are least prepared for you. As you enfolded your betrayers, you embrace us with who struggle to love. Reconcile us with our sisters and brothers, and for the sake of your love, forgive us all our sins. And in Psalm 103, verses 
11 until 13, we find the assurance of pardon, of God's mercy and God's forgiveness. As far as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is your loving response to those who are humble. So far does your enduring strength uphold those who face the darkness within. As parents are concerned for their children, so you come to those who reach out in faith. And let us pray. For all we have accomplished this day, we bless God's name. For now, when we turn from labour to home, we bless God's name. For those tasks we left undone this day, we invite God's love. For those wounds we gave or received this day, we invite God's love. For our hopes and concerns for tomorrow, we invite God's love. For the gift of our presence this hour, we seek God's grace. For trust that God's love is all we need, we seek God's grace. For these praises and preoccupations of our hearts, we, found, we find our hope in God. Holy One, we bless your name and thank you for the gift of this day. May the light of the world guide us, the life of the world refresh us, and the hope of the world be our companion, that we may be the reconciling power of Christ in the world. We ask this for your mercy's sake. Amen. So with the same words at the beginning of this midweek reflection I'd like to go and conclude now. Wherever we stray, lead us back to the rock of your love. May God bless you tonight.